to log in, type in the default username and password, username, admin, password, admin. Once the username and password is accepted it will now proceed on the TAMS dashboard. To create user role, go to users tab, then click the user roles. Fill up the necessary fields such as, name and description. You may set or grant the rights of the user role, by toggling on slash off on the particular module. This user rights may grant an access to any of the tab in the dashboard. Then click the save button, once done. To enroll user, go to the users tab, then click users. From this tab, fill up the necessary fields such as username, role, first name, middle name, last name, contact number and the email address of the user or the employee. Then click the save button, once done. Copy the auto-generated password for the user to log in his account. To create groups, go to employee then click the groups tab. Click the new button, then choose which group type you want to create. Then, fill up the necessary fields such as type, code, name, and description. Once done, click the save button. Do the same process to the other group types you want to create. Once done creating different group types category, you may now create or edit employees information. To create employees, go to the employees section, select the employees tab, then fill up the necessary fields, such as employee number, access number, first name, middle name, and last name. You may tag the employee which group he belonged to from the group types you created earlier. Then click the save button, once done. You can easily import the time logs from the device when you connect the device to your computer, through LAN communication. It will automatically import the time logs to the software, in real time. To check if the device is connected to the computer, first, check the IP address of the device. Go to the System Settings tab, click the Network Settings, and click the Ethernet Settings. Second, after checking the IP address, go to Command Prompt of your computer, then type in ping space IP address of the biometric device, slash T, then hit Enter. This could mean that the device is online and already connected to your PC. Third, to check if the software detected the device, log in to the TAM software. Go to the device tab, click the unknown device. The software have already detected the device connected to the PC. Click the register button to register the device to the software. Click the register button to save. Then you're done. Once you registered the employee data to the software, you can easily upload the user's data to the device. To upload users to the device, go to the Devices tab, click the Actions button, then click the Upload User Data. 
You can toggle all employees if you wish to upload all users, or you can tag selected users' data to be uploaded to the device. Once done, click the upload button. To check if the users were already uploaded to the device, go to the main menu of the biometric device, and click the user management tab. The user's data has been successfully uploaded to the device. From the employees tab, click the drop down arrow beside the new button, then click download template. Open the downloaded template. Then, from there you can create employee data as many as possible. Then, save the file. On this way, it will be easier for the admin to import the employee data to the software. To import the saved file, click the drop down arrow button, then click the import from template, then select the downloaded template file. Refresh the software to see the imported file.